Hi everybody, I'm Scott. Thank you for joining me today on 45 RPM from a cemetery. cemetery where my father is buried. He was uh, recently buried about four months ago. I, I've been looking at his, his grave site. This graveyard to me means a whole lot of things, but you know, it's, it always leaves me with this feeling of emptiness, just emptiness. Because as I, as I sit there and I look at his grave and I ponder the fact that, I, 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 that he's in there, it's hard for me to believe that he's there. And there's a good reason behind that. There's a good reason for the fact that I have a hard time visualizing the fact that this is the end of my father because it's not. It's not, he's not there. His earthly remains may be there, but my father is not there in the ground. He's not there. It's a hard thing for me to wrap my mind around as I look at all of these graves in the graveyard that this is all that is left behind for those around us. You know, there's so many things that we can leave behind for others. I wanna tell you the story about a friend of mine named Randy. If you've ever been around me and you've, you've watched me walk, I waddle like a duck when I walk, I limp pretty bad, depending on the weather. There's truth behind that, by the way. Don't, don't pick on me about it and don't judge me. And it's because there was a time in my life where I had my Achilles tendons just snap. And whenever that happened and they snapped, they had to be put back together and I had to learn to walk all over again. Well, during this time, I was working in a church with my friend named Randy. Randy came up to me right after I had had the surgery done. I was in a cast and here's what he said. He said, I brought you something. And I said, really, you brought, that's, that's nice. You brought me something. He said, yeah. And he handed me this. This is a walking stick that Randy made for me. He made this. He found it. He said, yeah. He said, I figured you're going to have to learn how to walk again. So since you're going to have to learn how to walk again, you might need some help. He went out into the woods and he found a tree with a, with a, with a, with a tree growing up through these vines that gave it this incredible shape. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got all kind of, of uh, bug trails in it and wormholes in it and that beautiful spiral from that, that vine. It's a beautiful walking stick and I hold this very dear. Now I thought about this the other day after I learned of his passing that he thought enough about me to want to help me learn to walk again. He knew it was going to be a struggle so he gave me this and there are times whenever I use it I really do. And so the fact that he did that for me has always stuck with me. What better thing can we leave for those around us whenever we're gone, whenever we are the ones that are in the grave? What can we possibly leave for them better than assistance in their walk? You know, I hope that one day whenever I'm dead and gone, the, the, the people don't think of me as a grave, that people don't remember me as being planted in the ground somewhere. I hope that whenever I'm gone, that people will think of me as someone who helped them walk. I hope that I leave things behind that help people walk even long after I'm gone. I hope that whenever people are struggling, you know, and, and you know, these videos on YouTube, hopefully they're gonna be around for my grandkids to see, my great kids, grandkids to see one day, and, and, and that's all fine and good, but more than that, a legacy. I've, I've passed down how to walk a Christian life to my children, and they pass down what they learned from me to their children, and even one day, if they have forgotten the name Scott, if they've forgotten the name Granddaddy or whatever they want to call me, I always thought it'd be cool to be called Booty. I don't know why, but I think it'd be cool. Let's go to Booty's house, you know, whatever. But the thing is, whatever it is that, that if they forget my name, then, then the legacy of faith that I've taught my family goes down with, without my name attached to it because at the end of time, at the end of everything, whenever we all meet up together at the end of the world, I want them to remember one name. I want them to remember the name of Jesus Christ. If they remember Jesus Christ because I was here and something that I said, something that I did, then I did good. You see, my, my father's grave is right over there, but that's not my father. He's still alive and he is with Jesus Christ. And because of what my father taught me, I'm teaching my children. They teach their children and that legacy goes on. And he's left something of greater value than just a monument. You know, we got his headstone coming. We're fixing to have it all fixed up and it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice as far as graves go. But what he left that matters to me helps me walk today. What he left helps my children walk today. What he left will help their children walk today. And long after they have forgotten the name of the great, 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 great granddaddy, 
the faith legacy, the, the, the walk of Christ that he started has moved on down the line. I want to encourage you. Don't leave nothing but a plot of ground for your people to remember you by. Help them have something to learn to walk with. Help them to have something that, that their walk has changed because you were here, because you came and you made a difference in their life. They're able to walk. And even if they forget your name, so what? The more important thing is that they know the name of Jesus Christ.